What's going on guys, Alan here. Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to go to the camper and I am going to replace the axle bearing or wheel bearing, whatever you want to call it, on the Yamaha G29 golf cart. Um, the bearing is actually on the axle but it serves as, as a wheel bearing. Um, so I'm going to go up there, I don't have a press, so uh, after the weekend's over we're going to rip the bearing out. Um, or the axle out and then uh, take it to a press my buddy's got a press and then we'll uh, take care of it and get the new one in and then go back the next weekend and put the other guy in and then do the same thing for the passenger side um, I'm not gonna tape that part because it's the same exact thing on the other side um, so we'll just do the driver's side but, but uh, anyway get ready for the video Okay, first thing we're gonna do here for this bearing is we gotta uh, jack the back end up here and then take the wheel off. Move the dust cover here. Drink some coffee. I gotta get the snap ring out in here, so gotta grab some pliers. Okay, shout out to Harbor Freight on snap ring pliers because you can get this whole set pretty cheap. You don't have to worry about switching out ends or anything. So morning, bud. All right, so snap ring is off, hanging there. Next, remove the cotter pin, and then this uh, securing nut, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that was really easy. Wow. Okay, so now that the nut is replaced, or sorry, now that the nut is removed, snap ring is out. Um, I don't have a slide hammer or else I'd attach it to the studs here and then uh, try and yank her out. But, so this is just the bearing housing here. Bearing housing here, the bearing actually rides, sits inside of that and presses onto the axle uh, shaft here. So now basically just got to pull everything out. Oh, it's coming out super easy. I'm just tapping it. See it moving out. There we go. There it is. That's the bearing. Right there. Oh, it's full of stuff on the other side. Hmm. I'm going to have to clean that out. Definitely. Okay, so I don't have a press. I don't, actually don't own a press. And I won't until... Harbor Freight has a really good deal on it. I know you can use the 20% coupon, but um, I don't know. I just don't want to do one right now. So anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to bring the axle shaft home and do it. Because a buddy of mine has a press, but for now, I put paper towel in there just to keep any debris out. And yes, jack stand for safety. And uh, we're going to cover this up. And then uh, I'll get the axle shaft, I'll get the bearing off of the axle shaft at home, and then put the new one on next weekend, bring it up here, slap it in, and be good. Hopefully. 
it was super easy to get out so um yeah i barely tapped on it with the with a three pound sledge so hopefully you can see that all right guys it is a week later on this guy and i did not have the opportunity to record this part but it's super simple um all you gotta do is either hammer this hub off and then this this piece slides off after it then you can remove your snap ring and then your bearing will press off this way and then you press on the new one that way and this is what it looks like and that's it that's with the new bearing on um i just lightly put the hub on because when we put this guy in and tighten down the axle nut it'll bring it in the rest of the way but yep yeah, new bearing on there ready to go and if you have seen my video previous to this where i installed the wide body kit you'll know both sides i'm rubbing you can see it here so i brought my flap disc i'm going to trim this up and uh, we're also rubbing on the bottom of the fender flare as well so i'm going to actually raise the whole flare up so before i put everything back together a second i'm going to trim that down all right kids today's <laughs> video is sponsored by dippin dots perfect to kneel on so your knees don't get dirty <laughs> okay here we go okay oh i gotta hold the camera off yep ready i get soft wow You're right up to the screw hole now, so that'll be good there. This piece gets in the way too, so I'm just gonna chop chop that guy off too. Make sure no dirt, debris, none of that on there anymore. No great. It doesn't, it stinks. Especially when you use it inside the garage. Looks like we're good to go, boys. So we're gone. I filled the hub or hub assembly or bearing holder. Dad I'm in son. Thingamajigger. Alright. Slide uh slider in there. Mm. Just like that. Alright. We'll take one more one more wipe on this snap ring Make sure it's all cleaned off all right snap ring is in place now we can start Assembling everything, starting with the axle nut there. All right, the nut started on there. All right, axle nut is on. I'm gonna have to do this all over again, guys, because I know there's. Uh, there the washer did not come off of here. I know it didn't um, But somebody must have had this apart at one time Because there is not a washer in there um, But remember re uh, brand new cutter pin every time <laughs> I don't have one don't tell anybody but I'm gonna reuse this one like you're not supposed to like I'm sure everybody does but hey Now we need needle those all right, so you put your brand new cotter pin back in there. Your brand new used cotter pin. Yeah. I'm sure somebody's going to have an issue with how I'm doing it. Just let me know how I'm doing it wrong. Oh, the water side is supposed to go down. I love comments. All right. Dust shield back on. Now we're ready for the spacer. Time for the spacer. All right, tighten her up. All 
tire on, wheel on, whatever. Tire and wheel combo. 19 mil. Done. That's it guys. So I'll put the fender flares back on here. Now that I got more wheel gap, I'll raise them up a little bit and uh, she'll be good to go. But we'll take this for a test spin after that, make sure that that bearing was the only bad one not the other one i did buy a two pack just in case um it was way cheaper to buy two than one and then one again and there you guys have it there is nothing to that wheel or axle bearing change whatsoever um not on my card anyway if you got the same same yamaha drive um should be the same but it was uh super simple if you ask me um you just depressed part you know what i mean but uh yeah, since then, I've done the other side. The other side was bad. The, uh, you know, the the left side cleared right up, and then I could just barely start to hear that um, right side bearing going too, so I did the other one. So um, it is as good as new now, if not better. Um, so anyway, hopefully it's fill you. hopefully this video helps you guys out, and until we meet again, later.